everyone! I know it's kind of late to do a summer DIY. Everyone seems to be ready for fall. I mean, I'm ready for fall. But I'm going to be going to the beach for a few days and I wanted to make myself a quick and easy little swimsuit cover-up. Initially, I wasn't really planning on filming this video, but I figured, you know what? It's still warm for some of you and you'll probably be going swimming and you might want to cover up, so why not? This is a super quick and easy project, so let's get started. You'll need fabric. I'm actually just using a scarf for this, but you can use any kind of lightweight fabric. Taylor's chalk, matching thread, pins, and fabric scissors. First, get your measurements. You wanna measure from like the back of your armpit around the front of your body, around the back, and then back around to the front, and then to the back of your other armpit. Depending on how loose and drapey you want it to be, add a few inches to this measurement. I only added about an inch, but I wish I added around like four inches because the fabric I used isn't stretchy at all. It still fits, I just wish it was a little more drapey. Measure from your chest down to where you want the cover up to end. I didn't bother getting that measurement because as I mentioned earlier, I used a scarf so it was already cut to a length that I liked. Cut your fabric to size and also cut two one inch strips. Fold the raw edges in twice and sew them up to hem them. I tried to mimic the existing hems on this thing, which were super tiny, so I made mine as small as I could. If you're using a stretchy fabric, you need to make sure to use a zigzag stitch. Fold the fabric in half, matching the short ends up. On one corner, use something that has about a 6 inch diameter to mark a curve like so, and then cut it out. Take the strips you cut earlier, fold the ends in, and then fold it in half, basically making bias tape. Technically, if you want to make real bias tape with non-stretchy fabric like I'm using, you're supposed to cut the fabric at a 45 degree angle because then you do get a little bit of stretch out of it. But I was using a scarf and I didn't have enough fabric to do that. So in the words of Tim Gunn, I made it work. So I decided I was going to fold it in half again whenever I was going to attach it. To hold the fabric in place, I just went ahead and sewed the strap along the length at this point instead of just pinning it because this fabric was a little bit tricky to work with, but that's not necessary. Anyway, leaving about an inch hanging off of the short side's edge, pin the sort of bias tape that you just made around the raw edge of the fabric and sew it in place. Drape the strap over your shoulder to see exactly how long you need it to be. Make sure to give yourself an extra 1 4 inch for seam allowance and trim the strap down. You can use this now to trim the other strap. Sew the strap together, making sure not to twist it, and then continue sewing the strap in half all the way down the length. Repeat on the other side. And then it's done! To wear it, put on one side like so, wrap it around and back to the front, and put on the other side. And there you go! I also made one with a shorter scarf. I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please leave a like. Thank you to my patrons who helped me produce this video. You guys are the best. If you're interested in learning how to become a patron or you just want to read up on what Patreon is, I'll leave a link to mine right here. You can go check it out. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. And if you end up making any of my projects, then please share it with the hashtag CheslinDIY. I love seeing what you guys make. So, I'll see you next week.